aspirants of the NPP national executive positions, including Justin Frimpong Kodria, Kate James Foy, and Stephen in team, earlier Monday submitted their nominations for various positions at the party head office where their supporters had gathered. <laughs> One position that will be keenly contested is a general secretary position. Many believe the incumbent John Buedu will be given a run for his money by other contenders like Justin Frimpong Kodia. Some supporters of Mr. Frimpong Kodia told Joe News he is the only competent one for the general secretary position. Justice Kodia is for the youth. And you know, the youth need someone who will listen to us. And he is there for the youth. So we all give him our support. We don't even see him at the office for us to tell him our problem. But for Kodria, anywhere you see him, we have a nickname for him, Okumkom, because he always listens to us and do what we need for us. He's the one who can support the youth. When they talk, he's the one listening to them. So that's why everybody, the women and the youth, we want to support him. Also at the party headquarters were women organizers for the various constituencies who had come to support the incumbent national women's organizer, Kit Jing Fua. They spoke to join News. She has been a strong pillar for the women's wing of our party. She has been a marvelous organizer of the women. She made the party attractive to women. Emma Kate is a mother. She's a mother for all. And since she became the women organizer, the women's wing has become something new altogether. And um, women has been given the chance, you know, to also be part of the game. Meanwhile, one of the aspirants for the chairmanship position, Stephen and team reiterated his strategies for breaking the eight. There are a lot of things that I would need to do as national chairman once voted into office. But I'm zeroing in on one key aspect of it that is the ability to rally the party behind and together so that we can prosecute the agenda of breaking the aid for a new patriotic party in December 2024. We've gone through a series of elections from the grassroots, the very grassroots, polling station elections, electoral area coordinators elections, constituency elections, regional elections and then we are now warming up for the ultimate which is the national elections the election of all national officers of the party however submission of forms is expected to end on wednesday june 15 2022 mousy newman's report for news